Hey everyone, I'm back and in this showcase video I will be showing you my newest custom LEGO minifigures and these are the Reservoir Dogs. And yeah, Reservoir Dogs is one of the most popular and one of the first movies that Quentin Tarantino did and I really tried to make something different with this showcase video and with these minifigures because not all of these figures are made from me. I made kind of like a collab and this is only part one. I'm trying to make all the Quentin Tarantino movies that I really do like um, into Lego mini for minifigures into yeah <laughs> and stuff and yeah so I'm getting help from some other customizers with trades. I'm making figures for them and they are making figures for me and stuff so that's pretty cool and this is the first part and I hope you like it and yeah so let's start so starting off with Mr. Pink and here's one of the two figures that I did um, and yeah the other ones were just made by other people which I'm going to um, explain in a second and yeah but now just Mr. Pink and I gave him a pistol here from Minific Cat you can look up in the, on the internet I, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can buy it if you want to and yeah now just move on to the head his hair was a lego tony stark hairpiece it is here just a regular lego hairpiece which i cut it off here the front a bit and then as you can see sculpted it on onto his facial hair that he has in the movie and i think it looks pretty accurate and yeah and then one thing that I also did, I glued on sunglasses that I made for him. You can see, they are pretty cool. It took a while till I um, got it right with the black paint and stuff, but yeah, it was definitely worth it. And underneath it is the face from Steve Buscemi. And yeah, I painted on actually a lot of wrinkles and stuff because he kind of has them and yeah uh, the base for the face was a uh, Ant-Man head from the Lego group and yeah I then just uh, leave the eyes and then erased everything else and then painted on new eyebrows new mouth and then also the beard and yeah I think it looks very accurate to uh, Mr. Pink aka Steve Buscemi and yeah, now move on to the suit. The suits are actually very um, important for the Reservoir Dogs because yeah, all of them just wear those suits and it's pretty cool. And yeah, I just first painted on gray lines here as you can see and then shade painted them with a darker gray which is actually more like a light black but yeah. So it looks more realistic and I really like that look. I also did it on Mr. Orange which, I, which I'm going to um, talk about after this. And yeah, it's actually very self-explaining how I painted it. So I'm not going to talk too much about them. And also here I painted on some shoes and extended the, his coat onto his legs and then also here his belt buckle and stuff 
very cool figure, I really like it, and he's definitely one of my favorite characters, but not my favorite character from Reservoir Dogs, because we are going to talk about my favorite character now, Mr. Orange. So, yeah, this is Mr. Orange, my favorite character from Reservoir Dogs, and yeah, easily because I also really like the actor Tim Roth, and he also played in other Tarantino movies like Hateful Eight and Pulp Fiction, and that's pretty cool. But yeah, now onto the figure. He has also a gun here from Minific Cat, but I don't know if if this gun is from Minific Cat. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, I'm just going to remove it now. Here you got a better look at him. I didn't paint it because. I think this works as it looks like, so yeah, link to this one is also in the description. And now onto the head. Now his sunglasses, his sunglasses are not um, uh, glued onto his hairpiece because uh, I just didn't want it to, so I just glued them directly onto the face and yeah, I think this also works. and. You might notice that this face, his skin color is kind of like more darker because I used um, this face was basically a yellow head before I painted it and so it kind of looks, I don't know, darker but I think it works and yeah I then also added on some wrinkles and stuff and here I also painted on to continue his sunglasses and also a bit of hair because his hair if I remove it real quick now you can see it looks kinda wasted underneath it but yeah so damn it his hair piece is actually entirely sculpted and I'm really proud of it and it looks pretty cool and yeah it looks more like a I don't know comic style hair but it still works and now his suit is basically almost the same as the one from Mr. Pink, so I'm not going to talk about it now. Just some regular wrinkles and stuff. Yeah. Now, that was my favorite minifigure from Reservoir Dogs. And now, onto the figures that Wavy Films made for me. So, the upcoming two figures are made from my Canadian boy Wavy Films. And yeah, he's a really cool dude, definitely check out his Instagram. I think he just hit 2k followers on it. And yeah, he also just made a really cool Hulk from for Ragnarok, so yeah. Pretty cool guy and uh, I just made an unboxing video on these two Reservoir Dogs minifigures. And yeah, so I'm just going to try to talk about as much as I can because as said, these figures are not made by me, these two, so I'm just going to try to, yeah, figure out what, which parts he used and stuff. So, the hair is Harry Potter hair, I guess, yeah, I'm pretty sure, and the face is probably also from Harry Potter, yes. As you can see in the back, there's still his double-sided face. And he just painted those sunglasses um, black. And I think it works. I mean, he could have added some wrinkles, but it still works for Mr. Blonde. And yeah. And now, one thing that I did for this figure is his milk thing. His, I don't know how to call it, like lemonade. I don't know what he's drinking. The base wa for it was a uh, Mega Blocks iced tea, and yeah, I then painted everything white and then just painted the other thing there, that thing, um, dark tan. And yeah, so that's the only thing that I did. Everything else was made by Wavy Films. And I'm just going to quickly put it away. And yeah, so the suit was basically just painted just like my suits and yeah just really cool I 
I think he paints very very good small details and yeah also in the back it continues and stuff like that so onto the legs also here a belt thing and also some lines to represent the shoes and yeah pretty cool overall I'm very happy with how these figures turned out and how we're going to move on to Mr. Blue also made by Wavy Films so yeah now on to Mr. Blue and yeah he is probably a character with uh, he has he hasn't got many screen time to be honest he's just like at the beginning and then you can't really see when he dies and stuff but yeah I don't know He's a, very, he's a very mysterious character, but still a really likable character, and yeah. So, I'm just going to try to talk as much about him as I can, as I'm able to, and stuff. And, yeah, so now the hair. I'm, I'm not very sure, but I think it was from um, Sabine from Rebels, and it was heavily sanded down, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure because you can kind of see here it was brown before and yeah, but I think it works for Mr. Blue even though it could have been a little bit more grayish color, but yeah. And now onto the face, the base was a magneto head and then he painted on his beard and also his eyebrows and as you can see at the back here's the magneto face and yeah oh and I guess he also um, uh, I don't know how to call it I guess he also raised um, the wrinkles there at the top to fit better but I'm not sure maybe they just weren't there I don't know and now onto the suit, it is basically almost the same as from Mr. Blonde, and yeah, just again some uh, lines, grey lines, and then a bow tie and stuff. But yeah, fits perfectly to the other Reservoir Dogs. And now we are coming to the last um, Reservoir Dog <laughs> character, and this guy is portrayed by Quentin Tarantino. So here we got Mr. Brown and I think he has a little bit more screen time than Mr. Blue. But yeah, anyways, this figure is made by my German friend Barman Customs and I I first just wanted him to make me a Quentin Tarantino figure because I won his first contest and that's pretty cool. And fun fact, I just won his latest contest and yeah, I commissioned him to make a Kill Bill figure, so expect the Kill Bill showcase too, with probably also Bill or someone else. I haven't seen Kill Bill to be honest, but yeah, I'm definitely going to try to watch it. And yeah, now onto the figure. It is made by Barman Customs, and he uses a lot of electrical tape. So that's why he also used electrical tape on this figure, which you focus. Thanks. He used electrical tape here to give this 3D effect on his shirt, which is very, very cool. If I put the figure a little bit down, you can see it better. And yeah. But anyway, anyway, starting off with the head. The hair was a regular Lego hand solo hairpiece. And yeah, it's also a little bit sanded off here at the sides to make it look more accurate. And I think he also painted, in, painted it in a dark brown color, which fits very perfect in my opinion. And yeah, the face is 100% uh, painted by Bum Customs. He painted the eyes, the eyebrows, the wrinkles and stuff. And yeah, it looks very accurate to Quentin Tarantino. And I'm very happy with it. So yeah.
that's pretty much it for his face. Now onto the body. Um, he did one thing that I very very like. He sculpted it. And he sculpted it here. You can see it here. He sculpted a little bit of his, uh, I don't know how to call it, stomach and stuff. And it looks very cool. I think it looks, it doesn't look fat, but it just works. It looks more realistic. And yeah, he then painted on all the details onto his suit. And yeah, the arms hadn't got any um, painting, but still work. Now onto the legs. There are some shadings. Here he first painted in a light gray color and then also repainted the lines with a dark gray. And yeah, also on the back there's this thing that almost every suit has. I don't know how to call it and I don't really care about it. So yeah, very cool figure from Bomb and Customs. And now you guys probably ask where is the last Reservoir Dogs? Where is Mr. White? Yes, that's pretty easy to explain because Mr. Pla Mr. White is portrayed by Harvey Keitel and this character or this actor also shows up in Pulp Fiction and I just like the Pulp Fiction one better Pulp Fiction Harvey Keitel so I made the Pulp Fiction Harvey Keitel because he plays um, Winston Wolf there and in Reservoir Dogs he plays Mr. White and now Winston Wolf is going to be featured in my Pulp Fiction showcase video so stay tuned for that but I just didn't want it to make two Harvey Keitels you know so yeah expect um, the Pulp Fiction showcase sooner or later because I only got two figures from Pulp Fiction done and Hopefully I'm going to be able to commission some other people to make me, I don't know, Jules Winfield or Vincent Vega. That would be really cool. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for this showcase video and now we're going to conclude it. So, that's already it for my Reservoir Dogs showcase video. I hope you guys liked this video and... Yeah, expect um, part 2 with probably um, Django Unchained figures or Hateful Eight figures in the upcoming months or so on because yeah, Hateful Eight figures are basically done but there's one figure which is made by um, Blink Brick Customs and he said he's going to send it to me in like one week or something like that, I'm not really sure so I can't do the showcase without him and yeah so if you like Quentin Tarantino figures be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel as said there are a lot of more parts coming up with Quentin Tarantino figures and stuff like that but yeah the next showcase video will probably be on my district 9 Christopher Johnson figure he looks pretty damn good I already posted a photo on my instagram so be sure to check that out Link is in the description. And yeah, also be sure to check out some other videos from me, like the latest video with Rocket Raccoon and Groot, or Baby Groot, or also um, the Daredevil time lapse, that's also pretty cool. And yeah, also be sure to check out Wavy Films and Barman Customs, great customizers. And yeah, without them, I'm not really sure if I could have made this video. But yeah. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.